Greetings my esteemed subscribers. This is a follow-up video to my latest one, which is called Why They Hate Me. You can watch that first and then come back to resume watching this fine video. So basically I have a few different additional perspectives to share with you. Uh, not the most fun topic to talk about hatred and evil and uh, such things. I would much prefer to have had a little vacation but Alas, the, uh, the powers that be would not allow me a moment's rest, so I'm at it again. Either way, when we're talking about good and evil, if we're talking about these matters, when you are young, when you are um, a child even, you understand on a primal level that there is such a thing as good and evil. Then you enter your teenage years, you enter your youth, and then you start putting everything into perspective and you lose sight of good and evil. Then, when you become a venerable ancient, as I am now, uh, almost 3200 years, that's how long I've lived, it feels, uh, you gradually begin to realize again that yes, there is such a thing as good and there is such a thing as evil. It might sound simplistic, but the older I get, the more I am. Um, go back to this uh, profound truth and I thought to explain how a certain type of evil can come about and this again I need to mention the term ressentiment. It's a, um, it's a term first coined by or formulated rather by a Danish philosopher named Kierkegaard. Any Danish guys can let me know in the comment section if I got that correct. Swedish and Danish they are quite um, dissimilar so my Danish isn't really particularly good. Either way Danish uh, philosopher then it was popularized by the German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche and uh, what it basically means is that you have an individual and I repeat myself now from last video but it's important to understand so I will repeat myself. You have an individual who views his own bad luck or bad position on the successes of others. So if some uh, one of my detractors might view me and say oh I am in such a good position maybe because of I have done something to others I can't have gotten to a good position because of my own hard work but it has to be for some other reason and they are in a bad position because I am in a good position. So it's called a zero-sum game. It's a highly toxic worldview and uh, you must never view life in that way. It will only ever hurt you. Instead view it as you know you can have a good relationship with others where both actually gain value from it. So uh, yeah that is one aspect and when we're talking about ressentiment good and evil, you have two different views on what evil is. A healthy and normal view of evil is to say that, you know, in a just society, in a just and uh, reasonable society governed by just laws, you will have strict punishments for heinous crimes. Because you judge someone upon their actions, you don't judge someone upon just existing. That is a good view of what evil is. And that can also be a good, a normal hatred. It's normal to hate individuals who commit horrible sacrileges such as sexual assaults on children. It's normal to hate such individuals. It's normal to want them to be punished according to a law, a just law. Now, there are also there is also a different view on what evil is, and that is a particular sense of hatred towards others just for existing. And I can take my own detractors as an example. I have never heard anyone explain why I am a right-wing extremist. It's just a label I have been labeled with over and over again by mainstream media, by detractors, by various individuals. Right-wing extremist. I've never gotten an argument as to why which of my positions were extreme. I've never heard it explained to me 
exactly why I am an extremist, a right-wing extremist, but I am that, so therefore I am deserving of bad things to happen to me. So I still remember when I got demonetized from YouTube and I saw individuals on Twitter literally celebrating that fact. And, you know, first and foremost it was you know, a bad thing happening to me, but it was also a an interesting learning opportunity because I wanted to understand how these people were thinking, how can you be so vile. Same thing now when my, um, when the Legio Gloria Instagram got removed, it literally hurts my ability to supply for my family and I needed to, I wonder why someone can be so vile and evil. So the reason why these individuals are so full of hatred and so evil is because they, they don't view evil and hatred in the sense that you have actually done something but it's because of who you are and this can you can take this as far as you want and you see this now with a lot of anti-white hatred that if you are a white straight man if you are a father if you are someone who proposes that a certain way of living is good traditional masculine values you are evil so again, as I said in my last video, I don't remember ever being mean to anyone. I don't think any of my detractors, I haven't been mean to them, I haven't done anything to them. But in their view, in their worldview, evil doesn't come from what you do, it comes from who you are. I am who I am. Can't really change it, I won't change it, because I am a good man. I am, a, again, an angel compared to most of humanity but they view it as me being evil because of who I am. So it doesn't really matter of what I do. So if you ask, no, I, so if you ask, now I got a hit piece there or now I got censored here. And if you ask me, what did you do? I didn't do anything. It's because of who I am. And they will say, you deserve this because you are a right-wing extremist. Never ever what I said or what I did. It's always about the label they put onto me and it stems back to ressentiment again, and this isn't only political, by the way, because I recognize the same pattern of arguments from my, uh, my purely fitness days. It was always the same. You know, you're in a good position because you've taken steroids, which I've never done. If you say otherwise, you are a liar. But it was always the same. It could never be down to heart and uh, discipline. It was always something else. Now I've built a good thing, I've built a good clothing brand, it wasn't easy, but I did it. And now they seek to find another excuse. Is it because of my... What might it be? You can't take steroids again, but it needs to be some other excuse. It cannot be due to my own hard work and uh, heart. It needs to be something else. It has to be other factors that um, comes into play because life is so easy for me. Um, that's usually what they say. They don't understand. It takes hard work, it takes heart, it takes discipline to do these things. So that is two different views of evil. For a healthy man or woman, evil is when someone is actually doing something, committing a heinous crime, then you view that as evil. And then you have the, the conception of evil for the lower, for the resentmental individual who views evil as you're evil because of who you are, not because of what you do. And then you can commit all sorts of uh, transgressions and you can rile up a population to commit gruesome acts of violence against these people. So um, I'm not saying this is a black pill anyone, but I'm saying that uh, tough times might be um, around the corner because of this. It starts with building up that resentment against a certain population group, whites in this case. You know, whites are in a good position because they have been mean to others. It's nothing to do with my ancestors here in Sweden. It's nothing to do with them building up a paradise out of a harsh and unforgiving climate. Can't possibly be anything like that. It has to be that they have stolen something or behaved badly. Same thing on a personal level for me. It can't be that I have a demigod-like physique because I've put in the work. No, it has to do with something completely else. So anyway, two different ways to view evil and hatred bred from resentment. It can lead to horrendous acts of violence. You can look on uh, history, read history, and you will understand the future.
So anyway, thank you for watching. Now I must seclude myself in the realm of Njord and Poseidon. Because Helios is um, he's blessing us quite intensely this uh, fine day. So anyway, check out all links in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. XOXO. Boom.